hi guys welcome back to the channel thank you guys so much for coming back in today's video we are going to finish out our fall decorate with me series and i'm going to show you how i decorated my family room for the fall 2021 season as you can see this is all the things that i have left so this is what we're going to use guys i thought it would be a good idea to just give you like a pan around the room at the current state of the room so that you can see how it's decorated how it's set up and everything this does not have any decor fall decor seasonal decor i've already removed a lot of the pillows from the furniture because i am going to be replacing them with fall decor pillows that i absolutely love but i just wanted to give you kind of a pan around the room so that you can see how it's set up right now versus how it's going to look at the end when we're finished decorating Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna tackle are my sofas. These sofas, I love them. They are from Value City Furniture. I love them. They're called the Marisol Sofa. And I found these pillows, you guys, at Home Goods. They were $24.99. I had them in my cart at Marshall's, I believe. And before I could order them, they only had three left and I needed four because I have two sofas and I wanted two on each sofa. I walked into Home Goods one day and there they were, just four of them staring back at me. They also had the all silver um, version of these as well in case you're interested. Um, I got these weeks ago, but I just absolutely love them. So as you can see, I'm going to just position them on my couch the way that I want to and then of course do my karate chop. Okay guys, and next, I wanted to replace the lumbar pillows that came with the couch, so I found these beautiful beaded, look at the beading on this, like, spectacular. I found these beaded pillows at Home Goods, and they're by the Harvest Moon Collection. They make some amazing home decor pieces. Now, this pillow was not cheap, it was $29.99, but again, the beading, beautiful. The pillow is a stark white, which is what I wanted, I didn't want cream, and it has like a metallic silver threading throughout it, so really pretty. I'm going to put this in the center, um, because again, these couches did come with blue lumbar pillows that I removed, so I wanted to replace them. So here is how it looks, I just absolutely love it. And guys, here's just a shopping tip. Now is the time for you to get the fall and harvest home decor at a very good discounted price because the stores have already started putting out their Christmas merchandise. So right now they've already discounted all the fall stuff. For, so for next year, you can get it now and just store it away. Okay, and now that I'm happy with the position of everything, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off all the price tags. You guys, I save this for last for each area that I decorate because if I don't absolutely love something, I can return it and get my money back or go exchange it for something that's going to work better for my space. So that's just a tip. I don't take the tags off immediately. I make sure that I love it first and then I take the tags off. And lastly on the couch, I wanted to add... A touch of warmth so I got this beautiful oversized throw it is so soft and I love the fringe at the bottom it's from home goods it was only $16.99 and I have been on the hunt for a very very soft long oversized throw with the fringes on the bottom for a long time so I got this one I thought the color was perfect because it's not a white one I did get a white one you'll see that later on in the video but I didn't think it was smart to put the white one on my couches because we do sit on our couches wrap up in blankets and everything we get cozy on them and I thought the bright white one would get stained um, or soiled quicker than the gray one so here I am just placing that the way that I want it on the couch and then that's gonna be it because these are functional spaces when we have company and everything obviously they do sit on these couches so I didn't want to overcrowd it too much when I do have company we do move the pillows out of the way in case you guys were wondering Okay, and here is how the first sofa turned out. I absolutely love it. It just gives me that fall warm feeling, and I love the different hues of blue. That's a tip. If you have a um, bold accent color, it's going to be hard to find every single accent piece in the same color, so just mix the hues. Moving along, here is my coffee table. I do have a low-profile coffee table, which is really good for my family. This is the Timber Coffee Table from Z Gallery, and this is how it looks before I do anything to it. 
First thing I'm going to add are these pumpkins. They are from TJ Maxx and Hobby Lobby. They're very inexpensive, $7.99 and I believe $5.99 um, with a discount on top of the Hobby Lobby one. But I'm just going to add these to the end of the table just to add a little bit of fall pumpkins, you know. Now my little one will probably move these a million times. But for right now, she's not home. So I'm going to show you how I decide that they need to go. And she'll probably show me how they need to go later on. <laughs> And next up, I'm gonna add this beautiful fall leaf candle holder. I found this actually at Ross, and it was only like um, $5.99, which is way cheaper than the Bath & Body Works brands, but it fits the Bath & Body Works candles perfectly. So I'm gonna put in Cranberry Bear Bellini in here and add it to the tray. If you guys are wondering, the tray is from Home Goods. The um, floral vases and also the taper candle holders, those are from, both from Z Gallery, along with the blue vases on the table as well, okay? Um, of course, I bought it on sale all of that on sale at discounted when it was on clearance I did not pay full price for any of the decor that you see on this table um, but I absolutely love it again I'm bringing in the different hues of blue because I just absolutely love the blue color down here and then on the other corner I'm just gonna add some Z gallery um, magazines because I just love that store and these silver glasses that I purchased from I believe TJ Maxx now you guys I am starting to purchase some coffee table books based on you guys recommendations so I want to say thank you guys so much for leaving your recommendations recommendations on that I asked you a few videos back for them and you guys gave them to me so I am in the process of ordering those and I will replace the magazines once I get them okay guys so that's all the decor I'm gonna add to the table I like the placement of everything so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the tags I do have a little one she's 15 months and again I do have a low profile style coffee table so she can reach all of this stuff so I don't want to overcrowd it too much with a lot of decor the pumpkins are already gonna grab her interest enough Please believe me, she's going to take these as soon as she walks in the house. So I don't want to put too much on this table. The last thing I'm going to do is light the candle and enjoy. Okay guys, so let's move over to this section of the room. This section is the small wall that also is shared with my sunroom, as you can see through the cutouts. I just have two tall wingback chairs here, and this is how it looks before. I have removed the lumbar pillows, and so now the first thing I'm going to do, you guys, is clean off these accent tables. They are mirrored on the top, and again, fingerprints, my little one, she's done a doozy on these. So I am going to clean those off, and then we can start the decorating process. And now that both tables are all clean, the first item of fall decor I'm going to add is this candied apple and fur candle from this sensational line. You guys, this smells so good. It's not overpowering. You guys know I don't like the overpowering fall scents, but this one smells really good. I also really like the size. These tables are not that large, so I needed a smaller size candle, and this was perfect. Okay, and the next decor item I'm going to add is this ceramic owl. I do have two of these. One of them is on my sunroom tablescape, so I wanted to put the second one here. And then the final thing that I'm going to add over here are two small plush um, pumpkins that I got from the Target dollar spot. One in blue and the other one in white. Okay, and the final touch to this space is to add some lumbar pillows to my high back chairs. 
you guys these pillows when i saw these i stopped in my track in home goods i went to like five different home goods looking for two of them they are the perfect shade of blue they're again by the autumn hill collection they are so beautiful the price on these was $24.99 but the beading the silver the white the navy blue i just absolutely love them and they are zippered so you can take out the insert and you know wash the covers or spot clean them whatever you need to do and again, I did remove the lumbar pillows that came with these chairs, the original ones that matched the chairs, because for the fall and maybe Christmas time, I just want to add a pop of wow factor to this area, and so I did that through some accent pillows, and I just absolutely love them. They are beautiful. And so, since I love them so much, it's time to cut the tags, because these beauties are staying, for sure. And guys, you guys know the last step. It's time to light the candle. Okay, love, two more spaces to decorate and then we are going to be complete with this room. The first thing is going to be my fireplace, the hearth area of my fireplace. I got this plastic woven basket from Home Goods, and it was only $19.99. It did come in three sizes. One was smaller and one was larger, but I thought this was a good size. And guys, I do know that my fireplace screen is off-centered. Um, my little one moves it all the time, so I just allow it to stay the way that it is. It's almost as if she likes it better that way. So I do know that it's off-centered. Every time I put it back centered, she moves it. But I got this beautiful white throw that I was telling you guys about from TJ Maxx. It was $19.99, and I figured this was a better area to put it in because it's should not be manipulated as much as the one that's actually draping on my sofa so I'm going to put this in the basket have it draping out and then I'm going to add some beautiful fall decor on top of it And in case you guys were wondering, all three of my lanterns there are from Home Goods, and the large candles inside are from the Apple Store. Okay guys, the final area of the room that we are going to decorate is this here sideboard or condensa that I leave in this corner over here. The first step, you guys know it, anything mirrored in here needs to be cleaned because of the little, little fingerprints that are always on everything. I promise you guys I can clean this now and in two hours it will look like I never cleaned it. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to clean it all up nice for you guys so that you guys can see the full effect of it. So I'm just going to use some Windex and wipe this down and then we can get to decorating. Okay, and now that it's all cleaned up, I am just going to add some pops of fall over here. The first things are these Z Gallery pumpkins. You guys, I've had them for years. I bought them after the fall 
holiday one year when they were on clearance and they will go out every year they are stunning beautiful and I get the most compliments on these pumpkins so they are a cream color and they're fully beaded but you guys they are so beautiful I have to make them work with my decor so they're the first things that I'm gonna put over here and as you guys can see baby girl can't reach on the top of this sideboard yet so I put my nicer items on the tops of things that she can't get to And guys, I also picked up this package of glittered acorns from the at-home store one year. And so I want to use these, but again, they are glittered and they're small, so her eyes will go right to them. So I have to put them in a place that she can't reach them. So on top of this credenza was perfect. And I'm just going to randomly scatter them throughout just to add a pop of fall there. And guys, here's how this area turned out. I absolutely love it. It's minimal, but you definitely can see the pops of fall and you get the vibe. So I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Buttons. I love all things home decor, lifestyle. I'm a new mommy as well. So if you like that type of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're an oldie but a goodie and you're coming back for another round of fun with Buttons, thank you so much. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. It's time to start all of our Christmas content. So get ready. And guys, the very last thing I'm going to do is spray my room with this white pumpkin scented room spray that I purchased from Home Goods. It smells very good. It's not too thick. You guys know I don't like the really thick pumpkin sm scents. But I am going to do that. I, I love to do this right before I have company just as a pop of surprise. So that's it for this fall decorating series this year, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for your support and tuning in. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.